So you'll create a form and when, with the form, you can have the students fill out the form. So you can give the students each um, a battle maybe of the American Revolution or whatever you want. Maybe it's ski areas of Colorado. And then what you'll do is you'll just create this form. I actually put a picture on my form and then I have the battle name, the location, the date, who won the battle, the description of the battle. I can also add a student name so I know whose responses are whose. And so I've had six students fill this out. So I click on my responses and here they are. And then I can make a spreadsheet. So I just click on the little spreadsheet tab and it will create this spreadsheet. You know, you'll need that for the map. So we'll go back to Google My Maps. And this is different than just plain old Google Maps. These are actually stored in your drive. And so I'm going to go ahead and create a new map. And I'll go ahead and title this. You can add a description if you'd like. I'm going to save it. Now what you'll do first is you click the import button. And then you'll have to find it from your Google Drive. So you just have to remember where you got it stored. Mine's stored in my Google folder. And here's the spreadsheet right here. I'm going to click that and click select. Now this is important. It wants to find the position of my place mark. So I'm going to use the battle locations for that. But then it asks how I want those battles named. So I'm going to go ahead and name it battle name. And I'll click finish. And then what happens is all of the information from my form is now, you see I have six responses, it is now on my map here. So right here, you'll see that the timestamp, this is when it was created, this is the battle location, this is the battle date, who won the battle, and then the description that the students put in. Now students can still go ahead and edit different items on here if they want to. Um, but it's all saved from the form that they filled out. And then you can also share this with your class. So you can change this to um, anyone in Gunnison Watershed School District with the link. You can um, go ahead and copy that link and put it into Classroom. Students will have access to the map if they need to make any changes. And it's a very, very easy way for a collaborative map to happen just from a form that you've created for students to fill out. So give that a try or if you have any questions, let me know.